How are we doing guys? Hack Single Figures here. Hope you're all well and have had a good week of golf. Right, it's time for another video. But this week, it's not going to be a very long one I'm afraid. So if you're in the UK, you'll know exactly why this is going to be a shorter episode this week. Because we've had a lot of this. <laughs> Yeah, we've had shed loads of snow. Um, it started snowing early last week. I think it came down really heavy by kind of Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, it was a complete whiteout. Thursday and Friday was the same. Um, it snowed more on Sunday. It is absolutely freezing cold. So there hasn't been an awful lot of golf. And all the courses look a bit like this. Now, it's one of those you can get really annoyed by it or, you know, just get on with it because there's not really a lot I can do about it. It is what it is. Um, so I've been doing a lot of stuff with these little fellas. That's right, my little foam balls. I've had my chipping pro out in the house. I've been using that to chip. I've been just chipping at the kids and I've been using my put out quite a lot. Um, one thing I'll ask you guys, if you've got a put out, are there any specific kind of challenges that you do because I do find myself just putting a little bit aimlessly with it and just trying to make that perfect put where it sits in the little hole um, which is fine but I feel like I need to have a little bit of purpose so if anyone's got any ideas of drills you can do with the put out comment below and let me know um, I've had a look on YouTube and I can't really find any so yeah if anyone knows any good drills you can do with the put out comment below and let me know that would be amazing so what else have I done this week? Well, I was supposed to be playing on Thursday. Obviously, that didn't happen. Um, didn't play at the weekend. So what exciting things have I been doing this week, I hear you ask? Now, if you watch the channel regularly, you'll know that I have some issues with my driver. Um, I've got a Callaway Epic, and we just are not friends. I have no idea what's going on. As soon as I get driver in my hand, it's like, it's like I'm holding an eight-foot stick with a brick on the end of it. I mean, it just feels awful. The driver just feels horrendous when I get it in my hands. Um, I've not really liked it for quite a while now. I don't know why, but you know you get to that point where you decide that you don't like a golf club anymore. And it doesn't matter what you do. And you know it's probably not actually the golf club, it's probably a golf swing. But in your head, you've decided that you just don't like that club anymore. Oh look, the wife is here. The missus has gone now, so we can talk about this again. Now, it's like she knew that this is what I was gonna talk about. So as I was saying, I don't like my driver anymore, bottom line. Um, I persevered with it and we, I just don't like it anymore. And it's in my head now that I can't hit that driver. So as much as buying new golf clubs, I know isn't the answer. I know that you shouldn't just go and buy new golf clubs, but that's what I've done. What I call them? Fun coupons. See that? The fun coupons. Come on the flute, John B. Grandfather and me. Now, you'll know that I wax lyrical about Cobra stuff all the time because I genuinely really do like it. And I've tried all the new drivers in 2018. I've tried the M3, the M4. I've tried the G400 Max. I've tried the Rogue. I've obviously got the Epic. Um, I haven't tried Mizuno. Um, but... And I've tried the Cobra F8. And the Cobra F8, I love from the first minute I hit it. I loved how it looked. I loved everything about it. And I think since I tried that, that's when I started to go off my Epic more. So, I went to see Ryan last week and I got fitted for a new Cobra F8 driver. Yes! You sexy mother... I've mentioned it to the missus. She doesn't know that I've actually bought it yet. 
which is why I had to go a little bit quiet then. So, got fitted with Ryan. Um, I'm going to do that video, so hopefully I'll have that video out by the end of the week of my fitting. Um, hopefully I'll get the driver in about a week's time, and hopefully this will give me some more confidence off the tee. I did manage to go up the range um, on Saturday, which was not very good. Um, it was freezing cold. I mean, it's like I think it was minus four, and I felt every single shot that I hit with my irons. It was so cold, um, but it was just nice to actually feel like I did something. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how much value it was. I was really surprised the range was open actually, but I think they just managed to pick a few balls up, and they only had half it open, so they weren't losing so many because. It was covered in snow still, so you couldn't get out there and pick up the golf ball. So, But yeah, nice to hit a few golf shots, but yeah, I'm not sure how much benefit it did. So I just need to try and continue working on some of the drills I'm doing inside, keep working on my chipping, and keep working on my putting. But like I say, if anyone's got any put-out drills that they can send me that I can do in the house, that would be really useful. So what have I got on next week? Well, I'm supposed to play on Wednesday at Rudding Park with Four Business, but... I have no idea whether the course is going to be open or not. Um, I'm also supposed to be playing on Saturday at Howie Hall, but again, I really don't know if the course is going to be open. So all in all, it's a pretty depressing week of golf, I'm afraid to say. So as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, the very short video that it is, hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe down there, click the button and follow me on this journey to single figures. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Again, sorry there wasn't a lot of golf in this week's, but... Not I can do about the weather, unfortunately. So, hope you all have a good week. Hope you managed to get some golf in, and I will chat to you all soon.